What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And today we got a topic that we gonna touch on today that's a topic that I've been asked about a lot, a lot of time. A lot of people be asking me this. Uh, not per se this person, but this neighborhood, because this is one of the people who end up losing their life due to the gun violence in Chicago, that uh, a lot of people loved him and had so much respect for him that they actually renamed the neighborhood after him. So we hear a lot of that, uh, neighborhoods being named after people who are no longer here, like uh, Tukaville, Old Block, you know, these neighborhoods are named after guys. That's the way the street people kind of commemorate their people. But uh, today we're going to take a guy to the board by the name of Taisky. Uh, a lot of you probably heard of that because it's a neighborhood out south called Taytown. Um, we're going to kind of take that to the board. First off, before we break that down, a lot of you guys kind of uh, put Taytown with like Lil Dirk because I believe this is a neighborhood where Lil Dirk grew up in. This is his neighborhood. Uh, we're going to kind of break this down. I'm going to give you some background on this guy. I'm going to tell you what happened that day, according to the police. I wasn't able to get my hands on the police scanners on this one, so this was kind of hard because I was only able to rely off the police reports, uh, newspaper clippings, newspaper articles, uh, a few interviews on the Internet about him. And uh, But the one lucky thing that I had was I was able to talk to people who knew Taisky, um, people in the community. I'm not going to name any names because I don't want to do that, but uh, I had an opportunity to talk to people who was close to the situation. You know, I do interviews, so I interviewed a lot of people from this neighborhood. So um, uh, we're going to take them to the board. I'm going to break it down and kind of tell you what happened because to be honest with you, this shit weird. I kind of get the 90s vibe with this shit. Niggas been killing niggas for a long time. Don't get this shit confused. Now, it ain't just that happening now. I think it's disrespectfully disrespectful now. But the killing always been going on. So, I'm going to take this to the board and kind of tell you guys what happened. Because to be honest with you, this is a real, real crazy one. Uh, so, today, we're going to take Tasty to the board. Now... Uh, first thing I know about Taisky is he's from uh, that neighborhood. He reps that neighborhood 61st and Normal. Um, that's like 300. That's a black disciple set. Okay. Uh, he was real cool with people like Lil Dirt. Uh, another thing that I noticed about Taisky now. Uh, he kind of ended up losing his life like right before the drill culture kind of started. So I didn't really get internet videos about him, so I couldn't touch his temperament. You know, to really understand how he was like that. So I seen videos after he passed, and I'm not going to lie. He was getting dissed in a lot of songs. I noticed that the ops disses him, okay? I didn't heard like people from Lil Mark and other people name drop him in songs on some disrespectful shit. Uh, another thing that I noticed about Taisky was he was young. I believe he was 18 years old. So young, I noticed that, you know, so this is all the information I really had on this guy, you know, but I could put certain things to it. I noticed that if he's from this neighborhood, he's affiliated with this. He probably has a lot of ops, mainly like GDs and shit like that. So I just come up with this myself by just knowing what neighborhood and shit he's from. Um, what the police is claiming, though, is that um, this the crazy part. They're claiming that I believe in July of 2011 you know, it's hot. It's the summertime. People got their best shit on. People got their clothes on. People chilling. People kicking it. They got the music on. They say it's a crowd of people. A crowd of people that's hanging out. On 61st and Normal. Which is now known as Taytown. Okay. Now before we get back into this. I kind of want to go back over here for a second. Because after learning the names of these neighborhoods. You go back and now when you see the internet. You see videos of these guys attacking people from like STL. I seen the video of, of something happened with Wooski and somebody from T, uh, this neighborhood. I also seen the video of somebody from this neighborhood getting caught lacking and made to do some nasty stuff to a girl. 
Y'all know that video. It was a video of somebody who was forced to do some nasty stuff to a girl on some real shit because they had guns and shit pointed at them. Luckily, this guy uh, chose to do it so he can live another day. And I understand that. That shit was said to watch. But that just show you how deadly and grimy this Chicago shot right Yosemite Sam gun shoot them up shit is. Okay? But back to this. The police is saying on that hot summer day, it's a crowd of people hanging out on this block right here. Okay? The police says that next thing you know, a car ride past. They say a drive back come. Two guys in a car do a drive back. One has an assault rifle. One has a handgun. They get the blicking. Nobody even seen they got the blinking out of nowhere, cause chaos. Everybody running, motherfuckers gone. They up, motherfuckers ducking and shit, all kind of shit, right? They gone and shit, right? It's all kind of shit happening, right? People are leaving and shit, running and shit, right? Tayski was hit. Another dude, he was 15 years old. He was shot multiple times. He ended up surviving. Tayski got hit. He was killed. Right? Chilling out there in his neighborhood. All right? This the thing, though. He go to catch, right? Um, When shit like this happen, people don't really like that. You know what I'm saying? I remember back in the 90s, if it was fucked up, then a motherfucker would tell on you. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit. And I'm not saying telling cool, but... That's how it was, you know, people got away with shit, but when you killed a kid or something like that, you know, a motherfucker would give you up the hood and be like, you know, police be like, hey, give his ass up. You know, the hood will walk your ass to them people. I was a real, I didn't see it. Don't let nobody lie to you. I didn't see it. All right? Uh, they end up getting a drop. They get a link to 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 get a name of a guy. They arrest him. So one guy get arrested. One guy get arrested, okay? Oh, my bad. One guy gets arrested. Eventually, the second guy gets caught. Now, this guy gets caught. Later on, this guy get caught. So, if you ask me, it could be some singing. But, like, hey, you ain't hear that shit from me. But, eventually, these both of these guys get caught. One is 27. One is 28. They didn't kill that 18 year old. These niggas too old for this. You know what I'm saying? When I seen this, this shit threw me off. I said, yeah, this was, we're going to get into that, okay? So eventually these two guys get caught. Um, they go through their charges. They do their thing. Um, when I looked into the paperwork, okay? Because I looked into it. I looked into it. It was multiple witnesses, multiple witnesses that identified these guys. These guys were pointed out of a lineup, all right? They were identified and pointed out in the lineup by multiple people. The neighborhood banded together and told on these people, told what color the car was. They said it was gold, all right? And they know names, which means, you know, uh, these guys must have been known for being bullshit ass people or being game bangers or maybe somebody just told. You know what I'm saying? Um, you don't always get away with a murder. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can, but sometimes you don't always get away with a murder. I'm up for telling you, Joe. And uh, when I did my homework and I looked at this, I realized that, you know, um, this was some straight, straight, straight old school game banging. Not giving a fuck who was outside, a crowd waiting on the party, shoot up the house party, all kind of shit like that. This was straight gang banging. You know what I'm saying? This was gang related to the T. You know, Tayski was a good friend of Lil Dirk. It's a lot of pictures on the internet of Lil Dirk and Tayski. Uh, Tayski is always being shouted out by Lil Durk. Uh, Lil Durk is always putting that in his videos. If you don't know, look for it now. You're going to see it. Um, yeah, this was a sad situation. 18-year-old boy ended up losing his life by some grown-ass men. Uh, out there just game banging, not giving a fuck who outside, shooting down the block. Don't give a fuck. I guess they told themselves, look, we're going to ride down the block, right? 
we gonna stop, we gonna stop, then we gonna skirt red past, and we gonna skirt real fast, and then we gonna shoot at the whole crowd. We don't give a fuck who you hit. Ain't that smart, bro? And bro said, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's some crazy shit, and they ended up killing this dude and then wounding somebody else. Now, it's word on the street that some people say them niggas did that shit on purpose and they aimed for who the fuck they was aiming at and the only motherfucker who got hit mistakenly was that 15 year old little boy but that other nigga was meant to get hit but you know I don't know and I'm just telling you if you ask me this was gang related I believe Tayski was in the gang I believe the ops were in the gang and I believe they were out there and they were caught lacking And it all resulted into gang banging and it was gang related. But uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate the love. I appreciate all the support. You know, uh, remember, I don't want no donations. Keep your donations to yourself. The weather's starting to break. You got to take the kids out there and go get the chips with the cheese and the meat. You got to go out there and go get them kids some shorts and the little fresh white tees and shit because the summertime coming. You get what I'm saying? You ain't got no time to be trying to send me some money, cash out to me and Zell and me some money and shit. I ain't going to do nothing with it but the wrong shit. So keep your money to yourself and do what you got to do for your people. If you want to support me, that's what you do. You pull your finger up like this. Nah, I'm just playing. You pull your finger up like this, you hit the like button. When you hit the like button, it make my videos grow. And a lot of people be able to see them. You can also hit the subscribe button if you're rocking with me too. I appreciate that too. It's the homie True Teller, the street reporter. Bleh, 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 bleh.